Welcome to Thursday Night Vespers. I'm glad to see you here as we quiet and calm our minds headed into the evening of rest and relaxation. As we get ready to hear our scriptures, let us take three deep calming breaths together. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son, give thanks. Ecclesiastes 12, starting at verse 9. Besides being wise, the teacher also taught the people knowledge, weighing and studying and arranging many proverbs. The teacher, the teacher sought to find pleasing words, and he wrote words of truth plainly. The sayings of the wise are like goads and like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings that are given to one shepherd. Of anything besides these, beyond these, my child, beware. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of flesh. The end of the matter has all been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of everyone. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or or evil. The beginning of Romans chapter 2. Therefore, you have no excuse, whoever you are, when you judge others for in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself. Because you, the judge, are doing the very same things. You say, we know that God's judgment on those who do such things is in accordance with truth. Do you imagine, whoever you are, that when you judge those who do such things and yet do them yourself, you will escape the judgment of God? Or, you dis or do you despise the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience? Do you not realize that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? But by your hard and impertinent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. For God will repay according to each one's deeds, to those who patiently do good for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. While for those who are self-seeking and who obey not the truth but wickedness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be anguish and distress for everyone who does evil, the Jew first, but also the Greek but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first, but also the Greek. 
for God shows no partiality. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.